Hi, my name is Miles Gibson, Iron Speed MVP for Milestone Software. In this video, I am going to show you how to use code customizations to help you solve business problems. Iron Speed Designer offers a library of over 90 templates for both VB.NET and C Sharp. These code templates provide us with a range of capabilities from filtering a drop down list box to validating a control on a form. For this demonstration, I am using Iron Speed Designer 6.2.1 Enterprise Edition in Visual Studio 2008 Professional with Visual Basic.net. I will be using the Acme OMS sample application which you can download from the IronSpeed website. So that you can duplicate this yourself later, I will be using the code customization set field value when another field changes. This simple customization is available in all versions of IronSpeed Designer. In this example, my requirement is to have the required date automatically set to equal 14 days after the order date. I have loaded the Acme OMS sample application and selected the Edit Orders page. I clicked on the Customize menu and selected the Code Customization Wizard entry. The first page that appears is a welcome splash screen for this wizard. This will only appear the first time that you run the wizard. Clicking Next displays a list of code customizations. I like to click the Collapse Tree button first so that I can see the full list of customizations and navigate to the one that I want faster. In this case, I'm expanding the Set Field Values category and selecting Set Field Value when another field changes. Note that the description for this customization appears in the pane to the right. It is a good idea to read and understand this information. Click Next to continue. This screen is where we make our selections for a record panel and the fields that we need to work with. I will first click on the Record Control Class Substitution Variable. Then I will select the Order's Record Control panel from the list to the right. I also need to select the Trigger Field Control. Clicking on the Trigger Field Control Substitution Variable changes the list on the right. I am going to select the Order Date Control in the list. And finally, I am going to select the target field control variable and select the required date control from the list on the right. You must make selections for all substitution variables in order to proceed. When I click Next, the wizard shows me the code that it wants to insert into the code behind file for my Iron Speed page. It is a good idea to review this to make sure it is what you want. Sometimes I only want a particular snippet of code from this preview. In that case, I will copy code segments from the preview pane and then abandon the code customization. Let's click Finish to see what the Code Customization Wizard does. Clicking the Finish button, we can see that IronSpeed has inserted the code template into our editorders.controls.vb file. At this point, I can click the Save button to save our work, or click on any other page to avoid keeping this customization. Let's save our work and continue. In order to provide a calculated value for the required date field, I will need to first convert my order date string value to a date object and then calculate 14 days forward from the order date. I must then convert the calculated date value back to a string value and assign it to my required date field. The following code accomplishes this for me. And we'll get rid of our initial value. And there, our code customization is complete. Let's save our changes. This step is much easier when using Visual Studio to edit and debug custom code. Please see my video on debugging Iron Speed with Visual Studio to learn how to take your development to a new level and make this type of work much easier. Now, let's test our code customization. Click the Run button to have Iron Speed compile our changes and run our application. Selecting the Edit Orders page, I can change the date value of the order date field to something else. And we can see that our uh, required date has changed. Let's go back and change the order date again. And you can see it's changed. So therefore, our code customization can be considered successful and we're now finished. And in conclusion, uh, we've learned how to access the code customization wizard, select and work with a specific code customization, 
select substitution variables and apply values, make some changes in code, preview our changes, and test those results. For more information, go to www.milesgibson.net or www.milestone.ca. If you'd like to contact me personally with respect to this video, please email miles at milestone.ca. Thanks for watching.